Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to learn on how to make in-app billing version 3 in Android. So first of all, here's my example application to demonstrate the in-app billing version 3. So here we have the status of free, which indicates the we have no any subscription yet. So the, this is the button that, to trigger the App Store. Also, I'm using my application that has been published on Google Play Store. So let me show you right away. So when I click subscribe, it will prompt a dialog like this. So we also can test with two card, which is the first card will always approve and the second one will always decline. So we'll test with always approve. Okay, we'll do the subscribe and processing and subscribed okay so now i'm restarting the application okay now so we can see here that the status is premium because we've already purchased oh uh, sorry we've already subscribed just now okay so i will now we are going to cancel it we're going to unsubscribe so open here manage cancel subscription no thanks, whatever, decline to answer, cancel subscription, and okay, the subscription will be cancelled. So as mentioned by developer, Android developer official website, that the, that the unsubscription will be affected for testing case, will be affected for 5 minutes. So we'll wait for 5 minutes and we'll check it back here. Okay, so five minutes has been passed, so I'm going to restart it back. So let, we see here the status is premium. Okay, now the status is free. Okay, so let's go into the coding. So before we proceed into the lecture, into the tutorials, uh, I'm going to make a quick, a brief presentation here. So Android in a billing version 3. So basically it has two types. The first one is the one-time products. And the second one is the subscriptions. So the first one, which is the one-time products, is content that user can purchase with a single non-recurring charge to user's form of payment. It is something like, uh, for example, we have a game and then we, we sell a diamond. So the user can buy it. It is kind of a one-time product. So it is not like a recurring fees like we have to pay monthly or weekly or whatever we said we can configure it. So the second one is the subscription is a product that provides access to content on a recurring basis. So we can set like weekly or monthly or every three months or half a year or yearly. You can set the the price for that. Let's say for for each week we can pay for five dollar and then for every month we, we have to pay thirty dollar and etc and so on so also there are two prerequisites the first one you have you have to have your application is to be published on the play store so if your application is, hasn't yet been published on the play store you're able to implement the codes but instead you cannot test it so it is kind of redundant if you cannot test it. So I recommend and I suggest to you guys to have your app published first at the Play Store. Also, I will provide you the tutorial for publishing an app into Play Store on the top corner right above. Kindly check the video. And also the second point is the testers has to be registered on Play Console. This is very easy. It only takes about three minutes of registration and so on. So let's get started. So first of all, we have to register the tester's email into the Play Console. So first of all, open the Play Console, Google Play Console website. And then you, you can see here there is email list. Click on it. So I've already registered four testers. You can see there are four testers with my different email addresses. So I'll show you how to register it. You can click here, create email list. So you can create the list name, maybe testers, 
zero one and then you can put your email maybe uh, yusuf at test.com separated by comma and yusuf2 at test.com and yusuf3 at test.com this is just an example you also can upload csv file so i've already created my email list so i don't have to create for the second time so i'll just leave and discard this so the second point is you you have to have your application to be published on the play store like i mentioned so these are my applications which are uploaded already on the play store so literally i'll, I'll just take one of these applications that already published and then i create a new git branch for just for this tutorial uh i i i did choose twice <laughs> I'm not a fan of K-pop but I just love to make the application for K-pop because it, it it really gained the audience you know and whatever okay so back to the main point so if you guys haven't yet published your application into Play Store kindly publish your app into Play Store so one important thing you have to create a subscriptions uh, but we'll do it later so let's jump into the codes okay so here's my example code but for now as for now i'm going to create a new project select new project uh, i'm going to start with an empty activity in app billing version 3 tutorial and also the package name is you have to make sure it is same as the package name that is uploaded into the play store so as for me i'll use twice fake video call i'll copy this and paste it here okay otherwise if your your package name is not same it is not going to be able to be subscribed or, or perform any purchasing so i'll use java for for global so that everyone can learn this so i'll click finish okay now so the android studio is already prepared so start the coding so i'll make the font size bigger so that you guys can see it okay so before we proceed we i'm going to open a github page which is gonna be our dependency so i'll open here i'll attach the link for the github at the description below so the first one at getting started so we have to implement into our build.gradle repositories maven central let's copy this and open build.gradle app so paste it here and one more thing is the under the dependencies we have to implement this implementation com.angelab.android.iab version 3 so we put it here and let's hit the sync now and the project has been sync okay so we go back to the github and it also asks for us to implement this into our manifest uses permission billing go back to the codes open manifest let's make it bigger so we have to implement it here so the second one is i'm going to go to the activity underscore main for the layouting split so first of all let's change it into a linear layout let's have an orientation of vertical and let's also have gravity of center so uh so like i i showed to you guys at the first we're going to have only two views which is the first one gonna be the text view rob content rob content let's have an id of um text view tv underscore premium let's set the text default text of status colon and space and the text size should be 18 sp and i think we're done for text view and for the second view we're gonna be the button rob cotton rob cotton let's give the id of btn underscore premium and let's have a margin top of 18 sp and i think we're done oh yeah also for the text let's uh, subscribe okay so let's wrap it up let's see here okay 
looks good okay so let's jump into the code so first of all we have to do an initialization okay so first of all let's go back to our main activity so we'll take here private billing pro billing processor we name it pp and also our two views which are the first one is going to be the text view let's name it tv status and the second one is going to be the private button btn premium button btn premium so let's initialize it so go back to the github so you can see these two lines of codes is going to be the initialization so i'll copy this and paste it okay so we see here it asks for three things the first one is context second one gonna be license key and the third one gonna be the handler so context gonna be this license key we are gonna grab after this and handler gonna be this which we have to implement so I'll press option return for Mac alternate enter for Windows so make main activity to implement the interface and I'll implement all of this okay so it's already implemented and I want to move the billing on billing initialize to the very top here because the initialization should be the very first right okay great so the next issue is we can see here your license key from Google Play console here okay how can we find that so we open our Google Play console and then we can search your license you can see here monetization setup let's hit it okay so you can open from whatever your application is it is always the same so when you go down here under licensing so this is gonna be the license key so I'll copy this so I'll paste under strings.xml strings.xml I'll paste it here I'll name it play underscore console underscore license paste it here okay great so from here we just have to get resource dot get string r dot string dot play console and score license so now we have already initialized so now let's add a log t so i press here press here press here and press here so if you if you're wondering how i do this so i click option and shift and click all of this so log d and tab so it automatically generates all of the log d with this with this specific method names so before that let's initialize our let's initialize our view here so tv status gonna be find view by id r dot id dot tv underscore premium and the button premium gonna be find view by id r dot id button premium okay so our views has been initialized so first of all we want to check that the user already has the subscription or not if yes he has a subscription so it will change the text view text into status colon premium if not it will change the tv status text into free so let's go back to the github so when you scroll down here you can search for get getting listing details of your product so as we are using subscription so we'll copy this this is to query listing price and a description of your product so I'll copy this and paste it here okay so the next issue gonna be your subscription ID from Google Play console here so I'll get back to our play console so here let's scroll down and you can see here subscriptions so I've already created mine so let me show you how to create a subscription so products ID let's say I name it let's name it test subscription okay so the name's gonna be test subscription description gonna be also test subscription description okay the benefits gonna be mm, uh, to have a status of premium okay so the billing period gonna be 
mm, let's say monthly the default price is gonna be I put it in relation ringgit so let's say 10 ringgit okay so it will automatically generate into all of the currencies that are available here so apply prices so this is going to be the default I'll just leave it to default so let's hit save and activate so here we go we have a new subscription which is test subscription so this is going to be the product ID so I'll copy this and paste it I'm going to paste it where to our strings.xml so I'll create one more string name going to be Mm, product ID so let's paste it here okay so how we can access it get resource dot get string r dot string dot product ID and here we go I'm sorry this should be get subscription transaction details okay so I'll assign it into a local variable okay so it's gonna be like this but I want to use also this into our method later on. So by that, I'm going to make it into create field in main activity. Hit enter. So it's going to be here. So I'll make it default as null. And here we go. So the next part going to be the subscription. When we click the button, it will open the dialog for subscription, right? So let's do it. So button premium dot set on click listener. I'm gonna use lambda here. Okay. So back to the GitHub again. Mm, you can scroll up until you find this. This line of codes gonna be the codes for performing the transaction. So I'll copy this and paste it inside here. So your activity gonna be this and your subscription id from google play console here so get resource get string r dot string dot product id again so if we see here this is kind of duplicated okay so i'm gonna make assign this into a local variable so put it here assign to a local variable to product id so I'll copy this and then paste it here and then also replace here okay so no more duplication and also if you read at the documentation here if you see here check play market services availability so let's say if the if the device is not capable to to perform any transaction so it will not gonna proceed unless it will crash right so I'll just use this one so I'll copy this thing small thing here is subscription update supported so let's do an if else statement here if BP dot is subscription update supported so if it if it is true it will happen to perform the transaction else let's do a log d else mm, let's say uh, subscription update is not supported okay and after that after we've we've implement the the codes for performing the subscription now we're going to implement the text changing for the text view right so here we're gonna have an if else statement if has subscription we'll make it a method and then we're gonna do tv status dot set text to status colon premium uh, so else status colon free okay so let's create the method up right here private void has subscription so this is gonna return a boolean return so we're gonna use this okay oops subscription transaction details 
dot purchase info is not no okay so let's return it to boolean so whenever the purchase detail is not no so it automatically meaning that the user has a subscription right so when the transaction details is no so that indicates that the user has no any subscription okay so let's go back to to the github so there are some several minor codes you have to implement one of that is on destroy so let's paste it down here on destroy so this is going to invoke the release otherwise it will crash and one more you have to implement this on activity result so the on activity result is going to handle all of the result that happened after the transaction has been performed okay so I guess the code is complete so let's give it a try so I'll run into my phone and we see here we have an error okay so what is the error let's check it here log cat error make it bigger so we're gonna have a null pointer exception on here okay so this happened because so by that we're gonna have a null safety checker here so let's do if subscription transaction details is not null and it will return this otherwise return it false okay so let's run again and now the apps is running so I'll test to subscribe you can see here the subscription dialog so you can see the, the price and for testing cases it's gonna be five per five minutes you can see the documentation at here so you can see the documentation here one week's gonna be gonna represent five minutes one month's gonna be five minutes three months and etc etc you can I'll attach the link into the description for your reading purpose so I'll go back to the Android so here also you can test with two with two condition the first one gonna be the always decline so I'll just try to perform the decline so yes yeah, it's, it's declined so nothing's happened so one more time gonna be the always approve so subscribe and here we go we are subscribed so let's restart the application close the application and here we go we have premium okay so when when we click subscribe again it is not gonna be subscribed because you it says you have already subscribed to this item so how do we cancel it very easy so let's go to the play store let's hit this here and then let's go to the subscriptions and then you can see here you can just simply click here and then cancel it is it is literally same like what I've demonstrated at the first no thanks whatever decline to answer continue cancel subscription and here we go subscription will be cancelled because why because it will be cancelled after five minutes okay so we can see at the subscription cancels on uh, date today at 102 a.m. so right now it is 12 59 a.m. so we'll just have to wait for a couple minutes so I'll pause the video and be right back okay so five minutes has been passed so I I, I've refreshed the subscription page so you can see here there is an option to remove so we have to remove this otherwise the status will remain premium 
okay so we have to remove this so we've removed so i'll open it back so here we go the status is now free because we have already unsubscribed it oh yeah so if you guys are facing some issues that it is still have any status even if you guys already checked the the transaction details is not null in the log even though you guys have already cancelled so it might be because of the caching so you guys can uninstall and reinstall the application and or also can clear the applications data and the cache and etc i guess that's all tutorial from me for today so so don't forget to subscribe and like because it really motivates me for continuing to make more tutorial series thank you for watching until next time bye bye